is Shellucci, and I want to show you a little bit about the components that are going into my public art project in the town of Arlington, Farn Arts for the Planet. Um, to begin with, my own work is made out of um, a, a accumulation of small um, crocheted pieces. So something like this is made out of um, just individual small sections that are then grouped together to make an overall um, shape. And this is the thinking that I'm um, putting into the project for uh, Arts Arlington. Um, so you can see this one here is a similar shape with a sort of, this one has an open-ended that I inserted um, plastic spoons into, um, but the shapes are not all the same size, I want to point out, and um, grouped together, and uh, and then that way I can make the overall structure that I'm looking for. Um, and then I have this other shape that I work with, which is a finger funnel type of shape. So I think of this piece as like a seed pod, and it's a, another repeating form that has this sort of, um, think of it as like cilia or, um, this shape from a seed pod. Um, so the components that I'm asking people to work on to start with is like a beginner square. So this is, I've been asking for, it looks like about 20 stitches here, 20 by 20. Um, and this form can either be made into, this would be the simplest form to make and a good place for a beginner to start. It can be made into a tunnel, a, a tube shape like this. Um, it does not need to be perfect. You can see the edge here is a little bit imperfect. That's not a problem. Um, or it can also be made into a sort of a blossom shape. So I have these coming in in lots of different colors and I, I think that we will use them in different ways for different pieces. So uh, that would be my little blossom. And so I am asking people to make a tube component. So um, like I just showed you with the beginner square, uh, this one is created not as a square, but as a round form. Um, and I'm thinking of this top part as uh, sort of a sucker or a valve that you might see on an aquatic form. Um, and that's where my thinking is for those. Um, I have these small cup shapes. These shapes are uh, being made in green and um, I think some are in yellow. I'll use whatever color they come in, um, but this is the color that I'm getting the most of and sort of looking for the most. Um, and then I have a large cup form, which is sort of a hat shape. And I have these in here. This is one that I made actually. You can see that the sizes are a bit different here. Um, so when those are added together on a larger scale, I'm thinking they will be something like this, or you can think of them as grapes. Um, but in nature, you find that things are sort of graduated in size and not everything is exactly perfectly the same size. So um, I'm thinking that way. And this is the finger funnel shape. Um, these are coming in mostly in these two colors. I do have some in brown and clear and some bright colors. Um, so as I said, I think of these as like, maybe their tentacles, maybe their cilia that would be inside, but they, um, they will adorn the sculptures. They may be lined up in a row or they may be, um, you know, equally spread apart. There's there, we'll have to see what happens. And then some, um, some special super producers have been making uh, larger pieces. So this is a really large, I think of it as a base component that one of the um, participants made. And this is actually her second one. She made two of these. Um, and this, this is quite heavy actually. Um, so super participants can have their own uh, assignments and um, they they will be uh, used as base components for the uh, pieces on the bike path. So I look forward to putting it all together and hope that you would like to be involved. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you make.
Thank you for watching.